Welcome to, The Success Face. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of happy for no reason, as outlined in the book of the same name by Marcy Shamoff. In this book, Shamoff explores the idea that true happiness is not dependent on external circumstances or events, but rather it is a state of being that can be cultivated and maintained from within. She offers practical strategies and techniques for finding and maintaining this inner sense of joy and fulfillment, no matter what life throws your way. We hope you enjoy this discussion and find it helpful in your own journey towards happiness. The empirical study of positive emotions, strength-based character, and healthy institutions is known as positive psychology. Scientists explain that individuals have individual happiness, set points, which are levels of fundamental happiness that remain constant regardless of the circumstances of their lives. Within a year of the event that altered their lives, whether for the better or worse, studies indicate that both lottery winners and paraplegics return to their natural happiness levels. You can raise your happiness threshold, despite the fact that happiness is a hardwired result of genetics and environment. To practice happiness, and flip your switch, you need to know what makes happiness better and what makes it worse. Don't believe that myth of more, which says that you always need something new to be happy. Don't try to convince yourself that you will be happy at some magical later time, when you get the perfect job or lose 20 pounds. You can be happy for no reason when you stop chasing things that make you happy. Start by adhering to these fundamental laws. The law of expansion states that things that make you feel uplifted and happy make you feel expansive and light. Your energy retracts when you're unhappy, making you feel smaller, heavier, and less capable. The law of universal support, does the universe punish you or supports you? Patients with AIDS who believe that the universe is kind live longer and are healthier than those who believe they are the victims of divine retribution. Try to assume that whatever happens has a good reason for the next two weeks. The universe is on your side, is a belief. The law of attraction states that you attract more of what you believe and do into your life. You attract more of the things that make you happy when you are happy. Consider what you truly want. Your life will develop in accordance with what you focus on. Concentrate on debt and it will rise. You will have more if you concentrate on abundance. Consider the emotions you'll experience when you're happy for no reason. The happiness home, happiness is attainable, and you alone are accountable for achieving it. Change the bad habits that keep you from being happy. Avoid pitying yourself, blaming others or yourself, or dwelling on past suffering. Seven pillars in your life are necessary for building your internal happiness home, which is a joint construction of your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual states. From interviews with 100 deeply happy people, three practices that embody happier practices are included in each one. Your foundation is your first pillar, the conviction that you truly can have bliss. The mind, the heart, the body, and the soul are the five pillars. Your purpose and passion are the roof and the garden of the sixth and seventh pillars, respectively, where you cultivate relationships. Your entire life will benefit from your strengths in one area. 
steadily execute these seven stages and 21 propensities. Be content with incremental progress. 1. The Foundation Take ownership of your happiness, establish the first three happiness habits as the foundation for personal happiness. Focus on the solution, problem solving gives you power and makes you happy. Lie was maliciously added to Ariel Gilbert's eyedrops, instantly blinding this capable and independent woman. She decided not to waste her life hiding from the world and feeling sorry for herself after spending a year in bed. She got out of bed and planned to get a guide dog because she was excited about having one. She had to relearn daily tasks and learn new skills in order to live independently with a guide dog. When she was matched with Webster, her joie de vivre returned after so much hopelessness, despite the hard work and inevitable frustration. She was reunited with a life that she enjoyed. She is at peace more now, years later, than she was when she was sighted. Look for the lesson in the gift, rather than blaming other people or life itself for your problems, believe that the universe is there to support you. Ask if your problems teach you something or are a gift. Make peace with yourself, it is worthwhile to confront your feelings regarding past traumatic experiences, even if it is painful. You won't be able to live a happy life unless you accept your experiences and make peace with difficult past circumstances. Perhaps you are unable to locate a debtor. Give the money to charity. Now is the time to make amends. 2. The pillar of the mind. Don't believe everything you think. Utilize these methods to combat negative thinking and refocus on happiness. Question your thoughts. Your brain has been hardwired to respond quickly to threats and negative thoughts due to millennia of fight or flight survival instincts. Around 80% of the 60,000 thoughts you have each day are negative, and they most likely reflect ones you had yesterday. Because what you think isn't always true, you don't have to believe thoughts that hurt you. Thoughts of doom are questioned by happy people, but they do not oppose or dwell on them. In their thinking, they focus on the good things. Byron Katie advises challenging your core beliefs as well as the stories you tell yourself. Examine your own version of the story whenever you are hurt or angry. Consider whether you are certain that it is accurate. Examine how you react to your situational belief. Think about who you might be if you didn't believe that. To get a sense of the opposing truth, make a statement that expresses the exact opposite thought. According to Lester Levinson's Sedona Method, thoughts and feelings are like a pen in your hand. Go beyond the mind and let go. If you hold it tightly, you'll soon get used to the firm grip. However, if you hold it loosely, you can flip your hand over and drop the pen if you so choose. You can also let go of negative feelings and thoughts. Incline your mind toward joy, means to think of things that help you in a good way. Give silent prizes for happiness, like, best smile today. 3. The pillar of the heart. Let love lead, making gratitude, forgiving others, and being kind a part of your daily routine makes you feel happier. Focus on gratitude. Although everyone experiences the same anxieties and setbacks, content individuals choose love and gratitude. Make a list of five things for which you are grateful each night for three weeks, before you go to bed. 
How does your perspective shift? Practice forgiveness, it can be challenging to extend forgiveness. However, forgiving yourself lessens your emotional burden and creates space within yourself for love and peace. It is not necessary to forget an injury or allow a harmful person back into your life to be forgiven. Forgiveness gives you the ability to release your anger and pain, which is more than just relief. Spread loving kindness, making a difference in the happiness of other people makes you happier. CJ, a hopeless individual, was battling a severe autoimmune disease. She poured her heart out to Alama, who encouraged her to stop feeling sorry for yourself and start focusing on the happiness of others, after she was moved by a Buddhist writer. CJ didn't want to hear that, but she took his advice and consciously wished for the well-being of her family and friends. She eventually wished for the happiness of people she didn't know or even liked. She gave her time as a volunteer wherever she could and did random acts of kindness. She changed her life in a year and is on her way back to good health. Wish yourself, your friends, and everyone else in the world's safety, happiness, health, and comfort. This is loving kindness. 4. The Body's Foundation. Making your cells happy to be happy, you should try to stay healthy. Follow these three routines to take care of your physical well-being. Nourish your body. When your body is healthy and functioning properly, even your cells know it, and your brain responds by producing neurochemicals that increase happiness and are dependent on particular amino acids. Try not to permit lacks in that frame of mind to sink your temperament. Consume whole foods to fuel your body. Get a lot of water in. Avoid sugar because it saps your energy. Eliminate caffeine and starchy carbohydrates. Energize your body. Regular exercise stimulates the production of happy chemicals in the brain. To get oxygen to all of your cells, take a deep breath in from your core. Tune into your body's wisdom. Pay attention to your body's signals about whether it requires rest, nourishment, food, or water. Take a deep breath and pay attention to the sensations in your body as you do so. Find out what your body needs to heal. 5. The pillar of the soul. Connect to spirit. Intensify your spiritual side in three ways to boost your happiness. Invite connection to your higher power, means to be open to spirit. Try meditation to become more open. Try pause practice, in which you stop seven times a day to pay attention to your breathing and the environment around you, if you are unable to meditate for 20 minutes per day. Listen to your inner voice, if you pay attention, your inner voice is telling you important things. Sit back and relax while you listen to your inner voice respond to your questions. Write your question at the top of the page, and after that, write down whatever you get back, without editing. Randomly opening a book can provide you with unexpected insight into a problem you're considering. Trust life's unfolding, it's difficult to accept that life's outcomes are not always under your control. It is sometimes wise to let go of worry and let the universe drive. Write to your higher power, however you see it, with sincerity. Give an example of a situation you think could be improved. Request the assistance you require. Put the letter aside and give up your goals to the universe or your higher power. 
6. To increase your level of contentment, pay attention to your internal sense of direction. Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, a happiness psychologist, identified the elements that create flow. Flow occurs when you are so challenged, energized, and absorbed by your work that time appears to disappear. According to research, a strong sense of purpose helps people live longer, healthier, and happier lives. Follow the inspiration of the moment, your intuition is sharpened when you are clear about your passions. Be receptive to little inner prompts to make a phone call, pick up a book, or go shopping, and be inspired by a profound understanding of how to fulfill your ideals. Find a way to give your job a deeper sense of purpose by contributing to something greater than yourself. Numerous worthy causes welcome your assistance. 7. The Garden. Cultivate healthy relationships, your relationships with other people can make your life more enjoyable. These routines will strengthen them. Mirror neurons, amplify mental traits or actions. Tend to your relationships. People's emotional states are picked up by these neurons, so who you choose to be around matters. Do the people you spend time with make you happier? When they are stressed, women, tend and befriend. Biology's way of helping them deal is to talk to friends. Instead, men are biologically conditioned to solve problems. By deliberately not emulating the body language of toxic people, you can resist their temptation. Antagonism can undoubtedly seize your body, then your cognizance. Imagine that your feelings are shielded by an invisible field. Avoid emotional vampires because they can drain you. Be an example of the behavior you want them to exhibit. Surround yourself with support, form a dream team of 5 to 7 friends who will be there for you and share your hopes and dreams for the future. You should be motivated to keep working toward your objectives by this dream team. You can put together a group of people who inspire you, just like Nancy Forsetzer, a member of the Happy 100 Inches who surrounds her workspace with quotes from historical figures like Gandhi and Helen Keller. See the world as your family, despite their differences, humans share a lot in common. Feel like you are a part of a shared world. Treat others as if they were family members. I wish them health and happiness. Perceive how that affects you. Thank you for watching our video on Happy for No Reason by Marcy Shamoff on the, the Success Face YouTube channel. We hope that you found the video informative and that you were able to take away some valuable insights on how to cultivate lasting happiness in your life. Remember, true happiness doesn't come from external circumstances, but from within. By focusing on cultivating positive thoughts, developing gratitude, and practicing self-care, you can cultivate a sense of joy and contentment that will stay with you no matter what life throws your way. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.